hi guys this is another horoscope for you guys um for a lot of you you could have a lot of fire placements in your natal chart or you could be like a fire sun sign or any big three um or this is just you having a lot of excitement going on a lot of passion is going on in your life um there's a lot of things that you need to get done or you're asking for the energy to um get things done because there's like a lot on your plate okay i see like someone just ripping and running running and ripping you know um for someone you are you're very business oriented you're very goal oriented um you like to accomplish things like you get off by being able to accomplish something especially if, if someone told you you couldn't do it you're like bet watch me um for some of you, you could be a business owner or you could, like, you may want to start a business or you already started a business or you could be, like, trying to teach your kids a business. Maybe you have a business and you are, like, preparing your child to be in your business you know like the business that you created it's like you're gonna pass it down to them type of energy um and you're making sure like they have their p's and q's uh like their i's dotted their t's crossed type of thing like you're setting them up to run your business sooner sooner than later um for others of you you may be you know trying to get your money up because you have a child you know in college a child that's going abroad or you may have a child that um what they call them schools boarding school right like and they may need a lot of things or they could just be gone on a trip and you know you're trying to get things done so that this child has what they need um for others of you um you or someone around you could be gossiping okay i feel for some of you like there's an the energy of somebody spying too I don't know why I'm getting like, well, this could be like your child coming to you, telling you like, oh, uh, these kids are bothering me. Um, they're taught, saying X, Y, and Z about me. Um, and it's like, because you're like that fiery energy, like you're the type of person that would stand up for yourself. You're the type of person that you not tolerating nobody bullying you type of energy. But it's always the people that, you know, are that stand up for themselves, that um, are not pushovers, not people pleasers. They always end up with kids that, you know, are the total opposite from them. Like, they're not willing or ready to fight or stand up for themselves. And I feel like there's, like, someone, like a child or even, like, a friend or somebody, someone younger than you, is coming to you and saying, hey, you know, this person did X, Y, and Z, and you're over there telling them, but you better do X, Y, and Z, you know, type of thing. If they hit you, you better hit them back. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I just heard batteries in a sock. Lord, that is old school. Somebody mama is old school, okay? I'm telling age, okay? Because that's old school. Batteries in a sock, don't do that. <laughs> don't, not... We used to get away with stuff like that back in the day. You're not getting away with stuff like that back in the day. I mean, during these times. Okay, not today. Don't do that. Don't mm -mm. do not do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but there's a need to, like, get your child or this younger person to, like, stand up for themselves. And it's like somebody is so frustrated that their child or whoever this person is, is like this person does not stand up for themselves. I'm looking, like, I'm seeing that TikTok um, when, um, with the voiceover thing when they was like, was it with, uh, what's that girl name? That, that dates Moneybag, yo, or whatever. I think it was her voice or something like that. And she was like, not too much with my friend or something with my friend. Like, not, like she was basically trying to convince her friend, like, stand up for yourself. You better sit there and say something, okay? Don't just sit there and do nothing at all. Um, For others of you, this could be you. It's like you finished something and you're about to embark on something else. It's like you accomplished something over here. And then you're about to start a brand new journey elsewhere. Okay, so that could be you moving. Okay, it's like you 
went to one location, you did what you had to do, you learned whatever lessons you needed to learn, you met the people that you needed to meet, and now you are moving to a brand new location. Um, and it's like you're the new kid on the block type of energy. And because you're the new kid on the block, you need to be mindful. My father used to always tell me all the time, when you move somewhere, well, before you even move somewhere, ride around that place during the day and then ride around that place during the nighttime. So you can know all the activity that be going on day, noon, and night, right? And to move at night and to have men with you, especially if you're a single woman, have your brothers, your uncles, somebody, you know, be, it's like, just be discreet about moving. Don't have stuff all out for people to know what you have in your apartment because there's, there's eyes watching you. There's people watching. They're watching you. They're gossiping on the phone. Hey, girl, there's a new girl on the block. There's a new guy on the block. Da -da 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 -da. So please be mindful of that be, move, moving somewhere because it's like there's eyes watching you. Somebody's watching you. There's a peeping Tom around okay um cover your stuff up take it out the box and like wrap it in something else don't let them know you got that 60 inch tv coming through there don't let them know you got that playstation coming through there don't don't have don't let them know like what you got going on put yourself all in like garbage bags or something you know like so they don't really know what you have in that house because there's a there's a need for me to say that i don't know why because there's somebody watching something um yeah, because there's like a new emotional beginning somewhere. Uh, yeah, some of you, it's time for you to stand in your power. Or you're telling someone, like, it's time for you to stand in your power. It's time for you, like, I'm not going to always be here to protect you type of energy. And I'm getting like this as a parent, like, having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with their child. It's like, what happens when I'm gone? I am I mean, I might be able to protect you spiritually, but... Physically, you, you're going to have to learn. Yeah, this is something that keeps happening over and over and over again with whoever this person is. Like, you keep telling them, like, no, you have to stand up for yourself. Like I said, this could just easily be a friend that, you know, is dealing with people that's always, you know, gossiping about them. And it's like, when are you going to sit there and do what you need to do? Four here with stability and security. For some of you... You have this thing where it's like, if things don't work out for you, you just pick up and leave. <laughs> like you, there's like, there's no, um, it's like you being unpredictable. And then it's like, you can't just always leave a situation. Like when are you going to have like this stability and security and like, no matter what happens, you stay type of thing and it's like i don't i just heard commitment issues so some of you may have commitment issues and it's like the minute you feel uncomfortable about something the minute it's like you're ready to go you're ready to leave i'm hearing don't get too comfortable <laughs> like what's that is that a song with trey songs or something like that a little wayne or somebody uh, I think it's called Comfortable. I think it's Lil Wayne. I think it's Lil Wayne and somebody else. I don't know who it is. Um, but there's like... Yeah, someone's not getting comfortable, too comfortable with something. Or you're telling someone, don't allow people to get too comfortable with like disrespecting you in some type of way. Yeah, see, there's new beginnings here. There's a need for like some type of change and a need to move forward. Like, this is how you may feel. You may feel a little antsy. Like, you're like, I'm ready to bust a move. Yeah, but that move that you need to bust is you healing. There's something deep down inside of you. Like, something has happened to you to where, like, growing up where you were never comfortable. And it's like spirit wants you to, to get comfortable somewhere. And... They want you to get so comfortable there that no matter what happens through thick and thin, through ups and downs, through the storms, it's like you won't pick up and leave. And it's like, yeah, there's just like a need to heal something within you or with someone about comfortability.